Well, hello again. So, what is going on in my motorhome today? So, um, what is going on? I'm just installing some luxury in my motorhome. Uh, departure to Spain is coming up, so it's just now three, four days. Four days till I leave. And since I am a guy that really, really enjoys my morning coffee and then midday coffee, midday coffee you know coffee in general i am going to install this one which is um, an espresso coffee maker so um i'm gonna secure it just by using these ones which is a really really good uh, uh fixing for items that i want to be able to take loose again and just installing a extension cord so because uh, up here in um, here i have the on off button for the inverter and if you follow all along and back there i have the sockets so i'm just gonna put on an extension cord bring it all the way over here and up on this shelf i am going to mount uh, the coffee machine so let's get cracking just think that everything fits so I want to have it as much out of the way as possible and let's see if we oh, if this is go goes the other way, I think. No, it doesn't. This go on, goes on like this. This goes in here. This one, oh, this one goes. How the freaking hell was this? Oh, it's like this. This goes on top. And the whole thing goes inside. There we are. So I think that looks quite okay. Bring it all the way back here so. I need to be able to take off the tank, which I am, and put it back on easily without having it interfering with those. Uh, and also, I need to put it in a way so it doesn't interfere with, for instance, a passenger sitting here and having the head back. But I, I think this position will be fine. So now I am just going to install... Uh, that scotch double uh, side tape or it's not it's not a tape. It's just a fixing thing I'll, I'll show you when I pack, unpack it uh, and then we're good to go to coffee Good things So well, let's see now if I can open this with one hand so it can hold five kilograms if you just use uh, a tiny tiny bit So I'm going to use a bit more So here we are So it's not like uh, Oh god Everything is much easier if I can use both hands, but I can't. So it's just like this. And um, so, so it's not two different ones. They are both the same. Uh, so what you do is you cut, cut them into pieces. And these ones, if I take this, and you just press them together. So they are really, really tight. So that is what I'm going to mount. One strip under the coffee maker and one strip on top of the shelf and that should do the trick hopefully yeah so i changed my mind about the one strip so i installed two uh, i cannot put them here because this this is just a lot of holes and stuff uh, and the, this here needs to be open as well for the steam so hopefully this will do so i'll just uh yeah flip it around see how it goes yeah yeah, well, let's see if we can find the sweet spot again. There, I think, could be good. Press and hold and whatever. Let's see. Yeah, oh, this is not coming off at all. So, just put this one back on. We are good to go. So, if I now... Well, yes, first I need to add water to the tank, so I'll do that, and we'll see if it works. God, it started raining like crazy outside. What is better than then turn on the inverter 
Turn on the coffee maker. And open the lid for a pod. Let's see how we can do this. Pod in. Close. Uh, let's find a coffee cup. There we are. And press the button. There we are. Magic. Oh, God. Oh, doesn't that look? I think my mornings are safe from now on. Oh, the smell of God. Perfect. Look at this. Nice. Look at this. And yeah, that was it. The whole installation of uh, the Nespresso coffee maker. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, that was hot. Whee! <laughs> I'll survive. It was good. Ah, god. Yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.